That note cuts straight to the heart of things, don't it? I'm actually gonna ask Rux first what he thinks about this note. Isn't it Zolf's handwriting? Zolf's messenger was one of his people. Wonder just how many of them survived. And what exactly Zolf told him. Okay, see ya. Oh. Let's ask her about the stock pot too, I guess. Finding gourmet ingredients ain't easy these days. But we'll take what we can get. And now what about the note? The note says it plain. Zia, go east to learn the truth about the calamity and our people. I'll be waiting. Sincerely, Zulf. Very interesting. It ain't too late to unlock the potential of this place. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do is unlock the uh, upgraded arsenal and check out what this trapper snare is. The arsenal's complete in case we need protection. Trapper snare is a sophisticated snaring kit that instantly springs open to immobilize foes in the user's vicinity. Trappers relied on this for hunts that didn't go as planned. So I'm in trouble, I can bounce the snare and uh, hopefully take some guys out. Now I'm gonna check out what these upgrades can potentially do for the uh, army carbine. Bullets cause knockback, 30% speed while aiming. Does that mean like the aiming speed? Or me moving? Let's, it's only 200, That's so let's the way go to for make it. Every shot count. Oh, here, aiming speed. Okay, fair enough. That's pretty important. Even the army never issued carbines in such fine shape. So I will. I'll take the I'll take the carbine out for another spin. Instead of the pistols, just to the see what happens. Carbines still go well together, just like in the war. Now, what the heck is this mailbox here for? All right, we're going back. The shards are getting harder to find. We have two more proving grounds available now. We're going to continue on Colford Cauldron. No risk of Colford Cauldron ever erupting again. They used to say. Guess they were wrong. This is actually getting pretty interesting. I wonder how, like, I, I, I'm really excited to see the end, actually. Not everything blew up in the calamity. <laughs> Why Colford Cauldron here blew up way ahead of its time. The cauldron boiled oh. over some 300 years ago. Okay, note to self. They say it filled the skies with ash and the lakes with molten rock. See this? The carbine does nothing against these guys. It takes a really long time. I'm trying to get that bird in there too, but I didn't have to. I'd like to know, like, what are your guys' what were some of your favorite weapons? Because so far, I mean, the pistol and the machete are just awesome. Maybe if I get closer. Oh, okay. No, still, only dealing like two or three damage at a time. If you wanted to survive something like that, you had to learn to adapt. I guess I could use those flowers against these things. That seems pretty dangerous to get up in there. Man, that thing is going to be a pain in my ass. So, in a way, the beasts of oh, the wilds, no. they're all oh, survivors right too. Right in the goo. And this just really kind of slows things down, this gun. I, well, I wanted to try it. And try it we did. Probably gonna switch it away as soon as I it can. It takes a certain stubborn pride to keep on living in a place like this. But see, the thing is, it's like there's some things it's really good against, like those big ass flowers. It's just these little pricks. Oh. As for us, we learned an awful lot. From what Colfer is this? Fire bellows? That learning 
led to some interesting inventions. Whoa! Okay. The raw power of the world fell right into our hands. Oh, I'm kind of digging that. Although it's a little bit, uh, mayhemic. Whoa! Playing with the cauldron's fires became an addiction. What's hitting me? That was bizarre. You can't fault our people for their natural curiosity now, can you? I have two really uh, not great weapons to be paired up right now. And I can't quite reach that one. There we go. Stay away from me, bird. Okay, the fire actually works pretty great. Sure, we dusted off a good many secrets out here. Whoa! But we discovered other things we're better off not knowing. Like, point blank, these little... What are these things? Those... What's that guy from Monsters, Inc.? Mike, I think? That's exactly what they remind the me of. The unforgiven scent of sulfurous dirt. Uh-oh. Can I burn them before they even... I don't think so. Oh, but the fire actually works pretty nice. Uh-oh. The taste of air is so hot it sticks to your lungs. Okay, well, now I found a new use for this thing. Jeez. <laughs> this thing doesn't really hurt. Like, the, the gas doesn't really hurt. It's more just obnoxious. All sorts of awful things crawling up. Actually, man, I don't know. I don't know if I want to keep this flame because it works pretty good. I don't know if I should keep it or get rid of it. You can cook those things, but you can't eat them. It just melts these things. Pecker <laughs> Pecker nest. Okay. <laughs> Never thought we'd find so much life and all that ash. Completed the culture. All right. Gain the required number of mementos strewn across the countryside. The pecker's nest is a patchwork of sticks with a long egg nestled inside. A lone egg. Peckers were hunted aggressively before the calamity, but their numbers never seem to dwindle. Even now, they appear to be thriving. Burn it to the ground. The more ash we swept aside, the more life we found. Place is inhospitable as they come. Let me out of here. Oh, man. We kept okay. on sifting through the cold and secrets anyway. That makes me happy. Let's get rid of some of this. Um, what do I want to do here? I'm thinking that I may actually keep fire bellows and switch this out for the pistols. And then now I've got up close damage, which is pretty awesome, and long range damage. Okay, bird. Thank you. Uh -oh. But still, we pressed on. Interesting combos, none the least. None the less. Oh yeah, see, for these plants, absolutely crucial. After all, 
Well, we look down inside Colford Cauldron. Say it, Rux. Did he just not Look finish the sentence? All the smoke and flames. Yeah, that's better. Get to it. Oh. We saw in there the heart of the world. The heart now laid bare by the calamity. Man, things are getting pretty deep here. Now these things for some reason don't chase me right now, but we had to have it. I imagine that might wake him up. As for the kid, he just has to get that shard out of there. Too bad taking that thing woke up every last stink eye from here to jump. That's actually bomb. okay. Because this flame blower thing. This is the best. This reminds me of uh when I was younger. I don't know why this memory sticks out, but uh we would go to our family's cabin at the lake, and my grandparents would always have this thing, like, obviously to help the fire go in the fireplace, and I don't know why I just remember that he so clearly. He is thinking he's got a trick all the way back around the cauldron. Oh, hello. Luckily, the cauldron cooked up a little shortcut for him. Oh, thanks, cauldron. Sure, it ain't the most convenient path. I'll take it. I haven't even had to use my new ability yet. There we go. Boom! The biggest stink eyes ever seen is waiting for him on the other side. All right, we might have to bust this out now. Let's just try it. Ooh. Does it pause them like forever? Oh no, it gradually I got gotcha. you. The light to stare. That's cool though, that's actually pretty helpful. Where there's one stink eye, there's always more. I'm not gonna lie, I love this freaking flamethrower now. <laughs> I know it's not a flamethrower, but so gather up to bid the kid a fond farewell. Kid don't shed any tears for him though. Oh big stink eye. There we go. Liking it. With a good spyglass, you can still see the cauldron from the city. That was probably unnecessary to roll back through that, but it's all good. Let's get out of this place. But all the fires died out. There's nothing left of it. Feeling pretty good. He comes back looking like the inside of a chimney. All right, let's talk to our guys here. Look, we've got that cauldron pot now. Just in time to sample Zia's famous cooking. Uh oh. Oh, jeez. Wolf's down too much too <laughs> fast, and it all goes to his head. Here we go again. Going to another who knows where. I feel pretty I equipped. Said a lot about the kid, but he ain't the only one wrapped up in all this. Here we go, story time, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, this is trippy. What's he thinking? Uh, let me see if I got this straight. I only heard it once. Oh yeah, okay. Bring it on. And the reason I like when they uh, drop the bombs is because they actually end up hurting each other a lot of the time. Once there was a normal Ura girl, but she wasn't born in the Tazzle Terminals like the rest of her people. She was from Ceylandia. Okay, how does that work? If she's Ura, doesn't she have to be from that place, or is that just their kind of heritage or whatever? 
<laughs> Look, I can't even see this guy. The folks were orphaned in the war, taken in and raised inside the city, on condition they would never return to the terminals. Whoa! This is like fried chickens. Ura refugees who came into the city had to stay for life. It was a way to reduce the risk of city secrets leaking out. That sounds totally sketchy. By the way, this flame thing is so getting upgraded. It's already so powerful. The mama passed away from burthen complications, leaving the girl trapped inside that city with no one but her father. Oh, that's actually pretty sad. Okay, try to avoid all the frickin' poo clouds here. The father was sharper than a brusher's pike, so he got a job working for the city's mansers. His daughter barely saw him. Oh, jeez. I tried my little special there, but did not work on this guy. Let's try it again. Yeah, see? Not working on everybody. Where's my shield? Oh, there we go. I wonder who, if, this, if this girl is... Uh, Zia. The father That's what told her nothing about. of her Ura heritage. He told her nothing of the Mansers. It's for your own good, he said. I always think shielding children from their past is a bad idea. Never works out. She took to studying the arts, learned more through music than history books, gained a knack for strings and songs. Come on, birds. These frickin' birds, man, I don't know. The ones that at charge first, at she you. she tried to be like other girls, but her classmates spread word that her father was an Ura traitor, selling out the city. Oh. Reflections, are those like individual waves? Could be. One young man stood up for her, or so he led her to believe. He knew much of her heritage, and she grew fond of him. Uh oh Oh, these guys! It's actually, these guys are kind of, like, not that bad. Come on! Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, not good. Okay, so that's two. I guess the closer to dead they get, the faster they come up. Reload. There we go. The young man convinced her to take him to a family <sighs> den to meet her father. Spoke of how he wanted to meet a man from the terminals. Oh, this is not gonna be good. The boy is gonna kill the father. I don't know why I got that vibe. Maybe that's totally depressing, but. When the young man greeted her father in the Ura's native language, her father flew into a fit of rage and uh -oh. threw him out. I wonder if he knew who he was or what this deal is. Uh-oh. Can I actually... I can actually hit these guys from the front with this flame. That is awesome. Well, this is bad. This is this is not good. The young man never told her that the Ura's native language is not to be used by foreigners. To do so is a terrible insult. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, these birds I need to learn how to handle differently because 
Maybe I just gotta dodge them, but they seem really difficult. <laughs> It was then that she decided to escape. The two of them could flee the city together and go to the Tazel terminals. All right, these guys are fine, I think. Dropping bombs, stink eyes. They would hide inside a garbage bin until it got ingested by a scumbag. Then let him slosh on out of the city for disposal. What? Oh, whoa! You kidding me? Can I trap these things? Yes, I can. Flames again are so good. Okay, I gotta not mess around here. Oh, shite. Oh, this is bad. Come on. The plan almost succeeded. But the authorities were already there when that scumbag sidled up to the city walls. Is this... Is the scumbag the kid? Like, not maybe not this kid, but... Like, the boy that she met or whatever? Uh-oh, let's, uh, let's fly. The young man had sent the authorities a tip. Told him her father was using her yep. to sell secrets to the Tazel terminals. Oh, that's not cool. I can see why the dad, the father would be pissed. Okay, I'm just gonna walk this way. There we go. Use them against each other, that's the best. Oh, listen to this she song. She and her father were arrested for treason, but her what? father got a deal. Return to work for the Mansers, and she'd go free. Oh, wow. <sighs> Look at- oh my god. I'm standing in the one spot. Before they parted ways for the last time, her father whispered a desperate plea. Hurry home to the den and lock yourself in. That sounds... I'm very actually confused as to what's going on right now. I have... Whoa! I have a feeling this is going to be one of those things that kind of clears itself up at like the very end. Okay, now this thing. I don't even know what those things are that it's thrown at me, but I don't like it. Let's get closer and just burn it to death. Whoa. Maybe I should take care of that thing. Thing is, I'm like, I got no health left. She did as she was told, and deep down underground inside that den, she found a journal written in her father's hand. Oh, whoa! What is... again? Okay, good thing I'm not very flame retardant. Alternate me. Raise your shield, boy! The next day, the door to the den turned to ash. The girl came up for air, and she oh, saw the wow. calamity all around her. 
Is that talking about Zia? 